Hello and welcome back. We are at lesson 57 and we got mixed number pro. Ugh. That's such a negative word. Problems. You know, like I got my problems. We need to change that. Okay, let's do a. There we go. Okay. Fun, happy puzzle thingies. Much better. All right. Does that sound like it's more fun to do? Okay, it should. It's just not as bad as problems. Anyway, let's go back and. Uh, First off, I misspelled the word eighths. I'll stick that H in there. Three eighths of what number is 36? You should have this method down pretty well by now. Just going left to right, you're gonna go three eighths of multiply. What number, call it X, is equals 36. Now you tell me, what do you multiply both sides by? Eight thirds, right? So then, you know, eight thirds, and then you can go over one if you want, eight thirds. And that's gone, and then 36 divided by 3 is 12, so 12 times 8 is 96. Boom, there you go. Okay, you know how to do those. Set them up. Should be pretty good at this point. Okay, now let's look at this. 2 and 1 half of what number is 7 and 2 thirds? Okay, well, very similar. We can just go right or left or right, right? 2 and 1 half of what number? times x, right, is equals 7 and 2 thirds, 7 and 2 thirds. There you go. So in other words, 2 and a half times something is about 7. I'd say it's about 3-ish, between 3 and 4, somewhere around there. Right around 3. Okay, well, let's fix it up. 5 halves x equals 3 times 7 is 21 plus 2 is 23. And we'll do the old reciprocal. And here we go. And that, of course, always goes away. I don't see any way to reduce that. So I got 46 up top there and then 15 there. What's 46 divided by 15? 3 and a little left over. There you go. There's the answer. All right. Try it on. 2 and 1 fifth of 8 and 1 eighth is what number? Pause it. You go ahead and make the equation left to right. Just pause it and do it. Okay. Well, let's do it. 2 and 1 fifth of 8 and 1 eighth is what number? Boom. See, it's going to look different based on how the wording is. Of means multiply. Is equals what number x? Just make sure you don't, don't just slavishly just like, oh, well, it must be an x over there. What does the sentence say? You fix it based on what that sentence says. It's going to be different every time. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's see. Two and a fifth is 11 fifths. And eight and one eighth, good gracious. Eight times eight plus one is 65. Holy Moses. Equals X. Okay. So at least this knocks down a little bit, right? X is, uh, or five goes into both of those. Well, it goes 13 times. 11 times 13 is 143. And eight times one is just eight. And there you go. Okay. All right. Good enough. Okay. Let's keep going. Page 184. That's your uh, try those practice problems and uh, start with A. Pause it and go ahead and try it. Okay, well, it shouldn't be, you know, too hard. Three and a half. I mean, if you want to go ahead, you know how to write three and a half as an improper fraction. It's seven halves, right? Of multiply. Six and a quarter, 24 plus one, I mean, 24 plus one is 25. Is what number? There you go. That's it. So the x is equal to, good gravy, 175 over 8. Wow, that's something. Okay, that's what we should get. All right, pause it and try b. Okay, well, 3 and a fourth of some number is 6 and an eighth. All right, well, let's just do it. 3 and 1 fourth of some number. Of means multiply some number. We can call it a if you want. It doesn't matter is six and one eighth. There's our six and one eighth. Let's just go ahead and convert these into improper fractions. That'll be 13 fourths times a equals eight times six plus one is 49. And reciprocal would be four over 13 and another four over 13. Yoink, there we go. And then what is that? Four and eight, that works pretty well with me. Okay, let's see, a is 
going to be 49 on top and then 26 on the bottom or 49 divided by 26 is good or you know you could say one point uh, was it eight eight four six one five three you can just go ahead and do that there that's a okay you don't have to do that just this is fine right here okay all right last one give it a whirl pause it and try it okay this looks kind of weird, but don't, don't, don't try to be cute or reinvent the wheel. Just do the method just as you've been trained to do. If you still don't quite understand what's going on, as long as you're getting the answers right, it's okay. Don't worry. It'll come as you do it more. All right? What fraction? I mean, wh just what, right? What of three and two-fifths? Well, you know, three and two-fifths times that, right, is nine and seven-eighths. And there you go. Three and two fifths. Let's make that an improper fraction. Seventeen fifths of times something. Eight times nine is seventy-two plus seven is seventy-nine over eight. And of course we just multiply. I'm not gonna even bother to do five over seventeen on that side. I know it's gonna go away. So I'll just do five over seventeen over here. Uh, good gravy in the morning. Look at that thing. Okay. Well, eighty times five is four hundred. So I'll just go, that's one fewer five, so 395. Eight times 17 is 136. Good, Googa Mooga. That's a weird number. Okay, that's the kind of creepy number that my Algebra 2 teacher would give us for, uh, for tests and stuff. You'd think, man, I must have done something wrong. That's the ugliest number I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, okay. All right, the method is the thing. Don't forget the method. Use the method, do it, and good luck today with your uh, problems. All right, see you guys next time.